The gentleman is recognized. Yesterday, my first vote for Speaker of the House was for Byron Donalds. Today, I'm rising to nominate Byron Donalds for Speaker of the House of Representatives. <laughs> Byron is a dear friend, a solid conservative, but most importantly, a family man who loves dearly his wife, Erica, his three children, has a proven track record as a businessman, public service in the Florida legislature, and now as a member of the United States Congress. Now, here we are, and for the first time in history, there have been two black Americans placed into the nomination for Speaker of the House. However, Madam Speaker, order. Madam, or Madam Clerk, order. We do not seek to judge people by the color of their skin, but rather the content of their character. Byron Donalds. Byron Donalds is a good man raised by a single mom who moved past adversity, became a Christian man at the age of 21, and has devoted his life to advancing the cause for his family and for this country. And he has, he has done it admirably. But there's an important reason for nominating Byron, and that is this country needs a change. This country needs leadership that does not reflect this city, this town that is badly broken. The House of Representatives is the people's house. It represents the entirety of our country and we each represent some 750,000 people. And we come here and it here we sit in a room filled with those representatives. And my friend, Mr. Gallagher, and he is my friend, and I agree with him on many things, and I agree with almost everything that you were talking about. But we should be in here having this kind of a conversation with this many people in the room about Ukraine. And we should debate the merits. And we should debate the ups and downs of being involved. We should debate the $45 billion. We should debate whether it should be more or less. We should debate whether it should be paid for. We should debate what the result we should demand. The only way you're going to get that is, is if you change the rules and have the leadership to advance the rules to make sure that we can do that. Now. We've had a conversation for two months to try to advance the ball, and we have had success in doing that. But we're not there. We're not at the place where we need to be to guarantee, to guarantee that we're going to be able to stand up in the face of the swamp that continues to step over the American people on a daily basis and spend money we don't have, and to continue to leave our borders open, and to continue to fund bureaucrats that are stepping over the freedoms of the American people. Byron will stand up and do that. By Byron has a track record of doing that. And importantly, when we're sitting here today and we continue this debate and we then have a vote, 
I just ask my friends on this side of the aisle, do you think that the American people support the status quo? Yes or no? Do you think that the American people want us to continue down the road of what we've been doing? Do they want us to continue to do the things since the leadership that's currently in place have been in place, do you think they want us to continue down that path? And the argument that I would make is that they want a new face, new vision, new leadership, and I believe that face, vision, and new leadership is Byron Donalds, and I'm proud to put his name into nomination, and I yield back. <laughs>